age four brothers this is a classic question it's an absolutely beautiful wonderful question uh, but this is significantly tougher than what we can see in the exam so way above what we can call cat level so this is way higher than cat level we will not get a question like this in the exam right but this is a classic question to to go through a bunch of ideas from number systems from number theory and so i'm going to take this step by step this is like a puzzle and you might get this when you're doing something with uh, uh, in, a, in a logical reasoning set something like this but this is the heavy duty number theory puzzle and wonderful question fine uh, without any more background i'm going to go jump in the ages of four brothers are a b c and d we know the following about their ages exactly three of the four are prime and their ages Three out of the four are prime. So prime numbers: two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, etc. Exactly three out of the four are like this. Exactly three are odd. Three of these are odd. So it could be three odd prime numbers and an even number, or it could be even prime number two. and then odd prime number 1 odd prime number 2 and then the fourth number and all three odd numbers could be prime or two of the odd numbers could be prime and one other odd number could be composite in that sense one of the prime numbers could be even two and i'm just reading the statement and making some simple inferences out of those if we took the ages two at a time and added them exactly 3 of the 6 sums are prime i took the ages two at a time and added them exactly 3 of the 6 sums are prime so a plus b a plus c a plus d b plus c b plus d c plus d If you took the ages two at a time and added them, exactly three of the six sums are prime. Very interesting. Of these, some three are prime. We don't know which three. Maybe some three are prime. And some three, I don't know. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe this is a wrong way of writing it down. But some three are prime. We'll have to make some more inference here. But I'm going to keep plugging away. Exactly three of the squares of the ages are less than seventy-five. Exactly three are less than seventy-five. So, uh, eight square is sixty-four. So three of the ages are eight or below, eight or lower. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three numbers out of these are our ages. And three out of these are our ages. The fourth one. is a number more than 8 when wonderful 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 the product of the four ages has exactly 16 factors product of the four ages has exactly 16 factors we will look at this later on and so we made some simple inferences so far fine right? but we are not going anywhere fine right? so we've not like we've got one of the numbers directly it's a beautiful question particularly because there's no obvious clear starting point and so i like this and i like this so i'm going to make some inferences from rc and e and then we'll build on that when c if you look at the ages two at a time and added them three of the six sums are prime these three are sum of two natural numbers and they are prime so all three have to be odd fine or If you are saying one of the numbers is even, the other three are odd, then O1 plus E, O2 plus E, O3 plus E, all three are prime. Very important inference, because odd number one plus odd number two will end up being even. Odd number two plus odd number three will end up being even. One and three will add up to give an even number. So those three cannot be prime. There is one even number and three odd numbers. Even number plus this odd number. Even number plus this odd number. Even number plus this odd number. All three are prime. 
right that's what this is giving us fine wonderful fine so out of these o1 and o2 and o3 all three could be prime themselves or two of those are prime already fine that is our inference from this statement wonderful exactly three of the four are prime product of the four ages has exactly 16 factors three of the numbers are prime maybe a b and c are prime so let's i'm going to write these numbers as prime one prime two prime three are already in and then there is a fourth number q a b c d i'm writing it as p1 p2 p3 and q p1 power one p2 power one p3 power one and then q power one p1 p2 p3 are already in and we know that if a number is the form p power a into q power b into r power c then the number of factors this number has is a plus 1 into b plus 1 into c plus 1 so our number p1 p2 p3 these three are prime 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 q is not prime we know q is not prime and so so this is this probably is broken down into r into s or r square into s or something like that into whatever that combination is number of factors is 16 or 2 into 2 into 2 into whatever this number comes out to be that is 16 or this number has to be 2 or we effectively say p1 p2 p3 are prime the last number should also be prime product of four prime numbers will have 16 factors three of the numbers are prime the fourth one should also be prime only then we'll have 16 factors but 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 houston we have a problem here product of the four ages has 16 factors exactly three of the four are prime so one of the four is not prime so we have a problem here we have a contradiction this says that we have four prime numbers this says only three out of the four are prime so it looks like the question is wrong what is the question from 2 I am and I'm so confidently talking and blathering on so there's nothing wrong with the question we need to figure something else out there is something else that is underlying here we need to figure that out and how do we do that what is the how do we get to that 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 something else think about it p1 p2 p3 q all four being prime will give us 16 factors but that possibility is ruled out how else can you get 16 factors p cube into q cube that will have 16 factors that we know but this means there are only two primes three of the numbers are definitely prime so we definitely need to have a p q and an r so how is that possible p q into q into r will have 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 16 factors a, a number which is prime factorizable as p cube into q into r will have 16 fa factors brilliant so this is not possible p q r s is not possible p cube q r could be possible what does that give us that's a big 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 takeaway sitting here think about this p cube q r is the likely prime factorization to have 16 factors one of our three out of our four numbers are prime so think about this i'm giving it away here so if we have the numbers three prime numbers as p q and r the fourth number that is not prime is square of one of these primes p q r and p square brilliant now we are getting somewhere the four numbers are of the form p q r and p square so p q r p square prime 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 square of a prime now remember we said the three prime numbers or the four prime the three prime numbers that we have all three could be odd or we could have two odd and one even if all three were odd all three were odd then p square would also be odd but we know only exactly three are odd so we know for a fact that the prime numbers are two odd numbers and one even number brilliant now the even number where p then p square will also become even that will become four that's not possible so one of these two 
is 2 these two are prime and then odd prime numbers and then we have square of that sitting there brilliant now let's drill down i'm going to think about the numbers in more detail i know one of the numbers is 2 i know other two primes are p and r and we have p square sitting here we know that from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 from this box we have we have three numbers sitting here right so two is gone it cannot be one so three four five six seven eight out of these we need to have two numbers coming in two is already in and so now p square cannot be four that's ruled out there's no other square here so our number should both be prime could be three and five or 3 and 7 or 5 and 7 so we could have 2 3 5 2 3 7 2 5 7 these are the possibilities that we have right? now come to the other possibility that even number plus odd 1 is prime even number plus odd 2 is prime even number plus odd 3 is also prime our even number in our case is 2 2 plus odd 1 is prime 2 plus odd 2 is prime 2 plus odd 3 is prime so let's think about this 2 plus 3 is prime 2 plus 5 is prime 2 plus 7 is not prime so one of our numbers cannot be 7 this is ruled out so these two are out so our three prime numbers are 2 3 5 the square of the prime that we have is not square of 2 the square of either 3 or 5 or the numbers we have are 2, 3, 5, 9 or 2, 3, 5, 25. Uh, a slightly weird family with a large gap between the brothers. But such is life. But still a mathematical possibility. So we'll have to consider that. 2, 3, 5, 9. 2, 3, 5, 25. 2 plus 3 is prime. 5. 2 plus 5, 7 is prime. 2 plus 9, 11 is prime. So this is a possibility. 2 plus 3, 5 is prime. 2 plus 5, 7 is prime. 2 plus 25 is 27. This is not prime. So this possibility is ruled out. Or brilliant. The four ages are 2, 3, 5 and 9. We want to find the sum of the four ages. 14, 17, 19. Here we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful question. One of my favorite questions. This is way above cat level. You, you will not get a question like this for cat. Uh, but it's a beautiful question to think about odd numbers and even numbers. Odd and even to think about prime and composite to think about number of factors i want to go over the thought process very briefly very quickly once fine so these are the points that we have three out of the four are prime from this we make the inference is either two prime one prime two both odd or prime one prime two prime three all three odd exactly three are odd so we have one even number we add three of the six sums are prime that means even number plus odd one is prime even number plus odd two is prime even number plus odd three is prime exactly three of the squares of the ages are less than 75 or three of the ages are from one to eight nine and above is the fourth age product of the four ages has 16 factors and number has 16 factors it could be of the form pqrs could be of the form p cube q cube it could be of the form p cube q r this is not possible because all four are not prime this is not possible because we definitely have three primes this is possible this means our numbers are p q r and p square and so p q r p square all three were odd then p square will also be odd that is not possible so one of p q and r has to be even or we have an even prime number the even prime number cannot be 2 within 2 square 4 will be another even number that's not possible or this is an then we have p r p square where p and r are odd prime numbers we're looking for two odd prime numbers less than 8 and then square of one of those we're looking for 2 and then out of 3, 5, 7, we have 2 numbers. If we had 7 in the list, then 2 plus 7, 9, that is not prime, 
that creates a problem for us. So seven cannot be in our list of ages. So we have two, three, five. So the numbers are two, three, five and three square or two, three, five and five square. Five square is not possible. This is what we are left with. And that's a thought process like in a, in a slightly uh, quick fire manner. A beautiful question to think about prime numbers and composite, to think about number of factors and different prime factorization for that number of factors, uh, to think about uh, even number and odd number and even prime and odd prime. So fabulous question. Definitely try this. If you Even if you didn't get the answer the first time around, even if you have seen the solution once, give it a go so that you can chart the thought process all on your own. Uh, beautiful question, one of my favorite questions. Right? All the best for your exam.